Okay, welcome back to the Camp Studio tutorial series. This is the third video. And in this we're going to be covering the differences between the original Camp Studio 2.0 and some of the features that have been added into the new beta version that you might find attractive. One of them is under region. In here, I'll explain how to use these more of course later, but uh, under region you have your selectable region, your fixed region, and full screen. The new version added the ability to select a window of a specified size, which is how I'm recording this one. All screens, meaning if you have dual monitors, you get both uh, being recorded, or you can select which screen you want to be recording. So that's pretty nice. The options are pretty much the same. In the older version 2.5, they had removed the record audio from speakers that got placed back into 2.6. So this now has that, even though it's a little bit wonky, it doesn't always work in all operating systems and all configurations. You just have to give it a try and see if it works for you. I'll be showing you a really great workaround that uses the record audio for microphone setting, but a different audio option setup for the audio options for microphone that allows you to record from speakers, meaning you get to hear, you know, say your uh, music player output, you can have that mixed with microphone input and things like that. So anyway, most of the other features are the same as you find in here. There's just several, uh, optimizations that have been made. However, in the tools, you did just have the screen and video annotations, but now you not only have those, but you also have several very cool effects. The ability to add a system timestamp, an Xnote timestamp, which is um, has to do with a, uh, a timing games, timing races, and things like that. Uh, you can add a caption and a watermark to any position on your page, and they will stay there throughout the video. Okay, we'll be talking about that later. And your options here, of course, set up where the position will be and what kind of annotations you'll have appearing um, if they're editable, like a caption, for instance, or a watermark. Okay, so you have several views. Those are the same in both. I guess the most exciting parts about this update for me was definitely having the window since I mostly record in fixed window sizes and uh, record programs and having these various effects is a nice add-on. We'll cover those in later videos. Okay, so let's see what other kinds of uh, changes were added that I might have left out. Okay, so you have recording, region by window. Oh yes, the left and right mouse button now have visual feedback that's different so if I click my right button, I can get a different color. I'll turn that on in a moment so you see what that's about. Um, Multi-language support is possible. Recording audio from spe speakers it says removed here. That was 2.5. It's actually put back in, so ignore that one. Um, recording for a preset amount of time is a nice feature. That's been added. That's uh, right here under options automatically stop recording. As you can see, I can tell it to stop here under 10 minutes, which is 600 seconds. And uh, I've still got a long ways to go. Here's my time lapse. Let's see what else. Oh yes, as I mentioned, the new effects, um, system timestamp, the caption, and the watermark capabilities. Also, the uh, SWF producer, which makes flash files, has had some nice features added to it. And the bug that had existed in 2.5 and 2.0, uh, well, these have been fixed. That's right, it was fixed in uh, 2.5. So it's still fixed in 2.6. Um, it says the outstanding stuff. We do still do not have native Vista compatibility but there is a workaround using XP compatibility mode and a few other things. Now the documentation for 
what I recommend doing is download both, copy the help files from the older Cam Studio 2.0 into the help files folder in 2.6, and they'll work just fine when they're called from 2.6's help menus. Okay? So, like it's saying, if right now if I called up help, if I hadn't copied those files, which I have, however, uh, it would do nothing. However, just copy the files from this one folder over to this one, and you will have the help files be callable from there. All right, so that covers some of the differences. One nice thing is that you can have the two different installations going, and you can actually record a recording of you recording. So you can have both of these running at the same time, which I'll actually be doing in order to be showing you some of the features that are going on in here in terms of settings. But one thing that's quite notable about this is that it can be running and I can show you settings and stuff. Like for instance, these are the settings I'm using right now as I'm recording. So it can record itself and its dialogues and stuff, which is really quite handy. So both of them have this capability. So take your pick, which one you want to download. I say go ahead and download both, install both, Get the help files out of this one's folder, put them in that one's folder, and we'll have them both available in case one gives you problems. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs>